the Apostle Islands are remote and they are isolated, but they're really not safe from invasive species. Invasive species typically will show up in the park on the edges of the islands, often on the beaches and sandy features, which is where they're brought inadvertently by people or animals. It's also a very disturbed environment and invasive species are very, very successful at living in disturbed environments. Power boats, kayakers, hikers, people on the cruise ships, they have the ability to take seeds with them. And so that's our biggest concern is to get that message out to the people that they can have a, um, a role in preventing that spread. Morning. Morning. How are you guys today? Good, how are you? We're starting to see some problems with a few specific types of plants that really love places like this. You know, the sandy soil that's disturbed. And the, the seeds get uh, out of your boat when you drag them up on shore and dump everything out. We're talking about the plant that's called spotted knapweed. That's a real potential problem up here. Spotted knapweed is actually like a, a pretty purple flower on it, and the, the flower will then turn into a lot of seeds. And when you're walking down, when you're moving your kayaks, even if you beached up somewhere else and then pulled the, the kayak up onto the beach, that's where a spotted knapweed generally is, and it'll possibly be on your boots. It might be on the edge of your kayak. Anything that, that actually comes in contact with these seeds, they, they will stick to. For years, we've been telling people to take only pictures, leave only footprints, and now we have to even be careful with the footprints. I'm trying to get around to um, all of the islands to talk about spotted knapweed to the rangers stationed on the island. Spotted knapweed was first found in the park here on Stockton Island in 2003. And since then, we've been really working hard to make sure that this doesn't become established. The biggest concern is that it really likes to outcompete the native dune vegetation. In replacing some of those native species, we lose a lot of our bird species that really like to nest in those areas, particularly of concern, piping plover. Clover nests in the sandy, rocky areas of our lakeshore here. And if we have an infestation of spotted knapweed that could overtake that area, we lose that type of habitat. My name is Peggy Berkman. 612 boat control. Kingfisher has arrived. I'm the biologist and GIS specialist here at Apostle Islands National Lakeshore. And to be honest, I hate exotic species. Piping plover is like a lot of rare birds, very, very picky about its habitat. If we have an invasive species coming in to the little bit of habitat that is still available, it just keeps minimizing that habitat. And the Great Lakes population of piping plovers is endangered. Right now, we only have four nests on Long Island. Here we've got this very rare bird, the only location in the state of Wisconsin where it nests, and we're helping that population. That feels really good. Let's take a look down here. The difficulty in treating something like spotted knapweed is finding it first. Typically, we find these species where people congregate, yep. where people put in their kayaks, where people camp, outhouses, picnic tables, visitor stations. That's where these species end up. The Park Service has been treating spotted knapweed for at least five years through chemical methods using herbicides as well as doing some hand pulls in some more sensitive areas and we've had some great success. We're down to only a few plants here and there but vigilance is important and we continue to check every year. Spotted knapweed is not just a national park problem, we find it all throughout the United States. Volunteers do a lot for the National Park Service. I think it's one of the best things that the average visitor can do is to get involved in their local national park and participate on that level. When we don't have native plants for wildlife, we don't have wildlife. And that's what I'm passionate about, so that's why I care about invasive species. One person can definitely make a big difference. Persistence is really key. It's definitely not hopeless. So I'm gonna go spray some right now. People really can make a difference on invasive species. If they make sure that their boots are clean, 
that their packs don't have any seeds in them, their boats don't have any vegetation hanging from it, don't have any mussels on the bottom, and even the bilge water that's in a boat can carry uh, microscopic or even viral invasive species. So making sure their boats are clean, dry, disinfected, that will really make a difference at reducing the likelihood that we'll see more invasive species in the Apostle Islands. Thank you.